My name is Jeffrey, and I'll be going over another uh, list of economics questions for you guys. And so today we're just going to look at micro macro questions that have been commonly asked, going over the answers, picking the right one, and then seeing whether or not we match with what the previous tutor has said. So we can just jump right into it. The first question says, suppose the own price elasticity of demand for good X is negative 5, its income elasticity is negative 3, and its advertising, its advertising elasticity is 3, and the cross price elasticity of demand between it and good Y is 5. Determine how much the consumption of this good will change if, and the instructions are to enter your answers as percentages, include a minus sign for all negative answers, and then we have A, B, C, and D. A says that the price of good X decreases by 6%. B says the price of good Y uh, increases by 7%. C says that advertising decreases by 4%. And D says income increases by 2%. So what we're really asked to do here is to understand different types of elasticity. And as long as you understand one of the, uh, the general format of elasticity equations, whether it be income elasticity or elasticity of demand. As long as you understand the general idea of elasticity, we can answer any of these questions, no matter if it's something we don't really talk about, like advertising elasticity or price elasticity, um, which, is, which is part A. So let's take a look at what the uh, uh, first question is gonna tell us. So, uh, see my mouse is not working. That's working. It's just this is not working. One moment. going on. Okay, so we're just going to not deal with that for now. Okay, so for the first question here, uh, price elasticity, we just want to know a general equation for elasticity, right? So we know that in general elasticity is given by or elasticity of demand, and my thing is still messing around here. The elasticity of demand is equal to the percentage change in uh, quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price, right? And so this is our general elasticity of demand equation. And so for this one, we can easily substitute this in. We know that the own price elasticity of demand for this good is negative five. So we can set this equal to negative five. And the next thing we can do is plug in, well, we already know the price of the good is decreasing by 6%, so this would be negative 6. So we have negative 6 divided by the change in P is equal to negative 5. So it should be something like uh, P is equal, uh, the change, percentage change in P should be equal to about uh, 6 divided by 5, or 6 over 5%, right? So uh, let's take a look at the previous tutor said. And so... Uh, Oh, sorry, not, not 6 over 5. Uh, the price of the good is decreasing by 6%. That, that's the price, not the quantity change. So it would be percent change in quantity divided by 
six is equal to negative five, and therefore the percentage change in quantity will be a thirty percent increase, right? And so that'll be the way we solve this. My bad for for that mistake. That was silly. Um, and so taking a look at the, pre the previous year's answers, we can see that matches up very well with what they put. The change in quantity demand is equal to thirty of negative five equal to the percentage change in quantity demand divided by negative six cross multiply and you get 30%. So that's totally fine. And that's conventionally what we think of for elasticity. And basically what we'll do is we'll just apply the same process to all the other types of elasticity because elasticity structure is fairly similar regardless of if you're talking about demand or income or advertising or cross price, right? Uh, it's simply gonna be a percentage change in quantity demanded for good X divided by the percentage change of whatever the other variable is. So let's take a look at B. I think B is referring to the cross price elasticity of demand. And so basically instead of saying percentage change in Q divided by percentage change in P, we would say percentage change in QX divided by percentage change in PY. So how does a change in the price of good Y affect the quantity demanded for good X? And that's what we refer to as cross price elasticity. So the structure stays relatively similar. You're just introducing a second goods uh, price instead of one good only. And so with that, we do the exact same process. Like we set this, we know that the cross price elasticity is equal to five, right? And so we, we set the price of good, percentage change in price of good Y is equal to seven. And so we would get something like 35% increase in quantity demanded, right? So taking a look at what the previous year said, they also said 35%, so we're totally fine here. And we'll take the same logic, apply this to part C. Part C says advertising elasticity. <clears throat> this is not something that you usually, you usually see, but again, as long as we understand what elasticity refer, refers to, the responsiveness of, quant of demand, then it doesn't really matter. We know that the advertising elasticity is three, we can assume that the advertising elasticity equation is percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in advertising expenditure. Uh, if it's advertising expenditure, uh, it goes up by uh, 4%, uh, then we know that the overall change in quantity demanded is going to be 3 times 4 or 12%. Taking a look at the previous year's answer, we see that that is correct. And finally, D says income increases by 2%. Income elasticity is negative three. We know that the change in quantity demanded is going to be 6%, right? And so uh, that's going to be our, uh, our ne negative 6%. So that's going to be our uh, answer for part D. And so for part D, we see that demand of good X will change by negative 6% if income increases by 2%. So all these uh, answers really just depend on our understanding of elasticity as a concept of uh, responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in some other variable. And so uh, all these answers are correct, um, and we have nothing to really correct the previous two runs because we matched all their answers.